Hello everyone, it's been a while since I last released a video about tank tech trees and I've decided to rectify that situation. So today, I'll show you the best tank tech trees that are perfect for beginners. Because it's not just about having good tier 10 tanks, but the tech tree itself is not too complicated and can be researched fairly quickly. Without further ado, let's get started. Friends, in today's tech savvy world, it's no secret that for many people, YouTube is the primary source of income. Each of you can start creating videos right now and earn from it. You don't even need a computer because the most crucial aspect of any video is high quality sound. That's why I want to recommend an excellent service from my friends, my vocal AI. This service uses artificial intelligence and can replicate your voice or any other voice in just a few clicks. All you need to do is record 25 phrases or upload an audio file with any voice and the neural network will create an exact copy. After that, you can use your voice to narrate any text or even listen to how you sing different tracks. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, happy, make me wanna cry. And with the promo code SWETCHVOICE23, you'll get a 23% discount. Start earning online with my vocal AI. All the details will be in the description. First up, we have the American Tank Destroyer Tree, led by the T110E4. In a recent update, this tank received a reduced commander's cupola, and there's now more armor on this cupola. But that's not all. The tank has also seen some slight improvements in recent updates, making it a formidable competitor on the battlefield. Its powerful gun, dealing 640 damage and excellent penetration, is perfect for any novice player. This tank plays like a heavy tank, which is essentially what it is. You need to be on the front lines pushing forward. Its strong armor will help you with that. And equally important, it has a turret that can rotate 180 degrees, which is a fantastic bonus for a tank destroyer of this type. As for the tech tree itself, you have the nimble and fast Hellcat, which zips around the map at the speed of a light tank. There's also the quick-firing T25-2, which boasts a high damage per minute. And let's not forget about the T30, with a gun that strikes fear in the enemy team. Nobody would want to encounter it in a dark alley. In general, if you're looking for a tank as tough as nails, then the T110E4 is the way to go. Moving on, let's take a look at another American tank, this time in the heavy tank tree, led by the M6 Yo. What makes this tank appealing to newcomers? Firstly, it has excellent armor both in the hull and the turret. Of course, there are vulnerable spots on the turret, but if you elevate the gun, the commander's hatches won't be visible. But the most significant feature is its auto-loading gun with two rounds, each dealing a single shot damage of 450 points. And the interesting part is that the intraclip reload is just 1.7 seconds, which is very fast. In the blink of an eye, your opponent can lose 900 hit points. All you need to do is aim and penetrate with every shot, and additional consumables for accuracy can help you with that. You can also equip consumables for faster shell reloading, but I recommend doing this only with the first gun that has three rounds. This gun has a higher damage per minute and comfortable shooting, but I would still advise you to play with the gun with two rounds. Regarding the tank tree, all the tanks here are decent and not overly strong. They are all quite enjoyable to play and don't present significant challenges when progressing through the tree. It's interesting to note that at tier 9, you can equip a gun with two rounds, which also has high damage and a fast reload between rounds. In general, this tank will be liked not only by newcomers, but also by skilled players who won't hesitate to play it and achieve high damage numbers. Next up is another tank destroyer, the Jagdapanzer E100. This is one of the best tank destroyers in the game, especially with the 10.3 update that introduced an additional consumable, increasing its average damage per shot. Now, this tank truly instills fear in its opponents because, apart from its gun, the tank boasts ultimate armor that is difficult to penetrate even at challenging angles, even with premium ammunition. Despite its high damage, the gun still maintains reasonably good accuracy. But the most significant aspect is that the entire tech tree of this tank consists of interesting tanks. PD-4 delivers incredible damage per minute for a tier 6 tank. J-Panther, as well as J-Panther 2, are powerful and cool tanks for dominating in random battles. As for the Jag Tiger, it can boast high damage per minute, and now it has also received a new consumable for increased damage. Just imagine the damage per minute it can achieve now. In general, this tech tree is suitable for those who want to deal powerful blows and frequently wreck their opponent's setups. Next up is the German medium tank E-50M which also became very strong after the 10.3 update when its armor was significantly improved. Now, it can not only ram, but also bounce enemy shots effectively. In addition to the armor, this tank is fast, really fast, and maneuverable. However, it paid for these advantages with its gun, which is not bad, but it's average in every aspect and doesn't have anything unique. Personally, I didn't like this tank at all before, but after playing it following the update, I simply fell in love with it. From this tech tree, you'll probably enjoy the Panther at tier 7 and the E50 at tier 9. These tanks perform quite well in today's random battles. The other tanks in the tech tree are also quite enjoyable to play. Let's move on. Now let's discuss Soviet tanks. 
Some people love them, while others hate them. Nevertheless, the IS-7 has made it into this selection. Thanks to the additional consumables for increased damage it received, the tank can now deliver shots almost like a tank destroyer. Not to mention the excellent armor of this tank, and on top of it all, it's fast. With a maximum speed of 42 km per hour and lightning-fast acceleration, it can easily compete with medium tanks and arrive at positions among the first in battle. If you're a complete beginner and this is your first tank to grind, you'll be pleasantly surprised. All tanks starting from the KV-1 are very well balanced and perform excellently in today's random battles. Also worth mentioning among the Soviet tanks are the T-62A and Object 140, often referred to as brothers. They used to be nearly identical, but in the 10.3 update, they were significantly differentiated, making it easier for you to decide which one to grind. The T-62 A received more armor and is now an alternative to the E-50M. It also has slightly higher damage per shot at 330 points compared to the Object 140's 300 points. However, the Object 140 has significantly higher damage per minute and speed. It's more of a light tank than a medium, easy to penetrate but hard to catch. For a novice, the T-62A might be a better choice as it forgives mistakes, but the Object 140 can teach you to play a tank without armor. The great thing is that both of these tanks can be researched along the same tech tree. Even more, if you research them through the light tank tree, which I would recommend, you can eventually unlock the light tank T-100LT. This means you can unlock three tanks in the same tech tree, which is fantastic. From the tech tree itself, I really enjoyed tanks like the MT-25 and the LTTB. They are a lot of fun to play, and their speed allows you to make an impact in random battles. And of course, I couldn't forget about the 60TP Lewandowski Go. This is the tech tree of Polish heavy tanks, and their main advantage is high damage per shot, along with the new consumables for increased damage. The 60TP recently received an increased damage per shot at 630 points. For those who didn't know, it used to have only 600 points and was already performing well in random battles. The tank also has very good armor both in the hull and turret. Even hitting the lower front plate is challenging because it's quite small, and if the tank is in motion, it's almost impossible to do so. However, for this armor, the tank sacrificed its mobility. It moves slowly, roughly, at the level of the E100, which makes sense since they share a similar gameplay style. The tech tree itself can also boast strong tanks, such as the 53TP Markowski Go and the 50TP Tischkiewicza. They are among the strongest at their respective tiers, and overall, the 60TP tech tree can be progressed quickly and without much frustration. So, now you know which tanks to grind to avoid disappointment. Some of you may have noticed that I didn't show you all the tanks like the STB-1 or VK-72.01, which are also very strong and possibly even stronger than the tanks in my selection, but there's a catch. To unlock these tanks, you'll have to endure a lot of grinding because the path to them is long and challenging. If I forgot to mention any good tanks that would be suitable for newcomers, please write about them in the comments and I'll likely include these tanks in the second part of this video. Thanks to everyone for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. This would be a great motivation for me to create more educational videos for you. Goodbye.